Boy, 17 times they've met up, four times in a championship game, including this upcoming weekend, the AFC Championship game. David Carr is here to break down the tail of the tape. Brady v. Manning as we take a look at the intangibles these guys bring to the table. So let's start off with awareness, David. Kind of one of those things, it's a little hard to measure who has the edge. Yeah, this is kind of Peyton's deal, though. I mean, at the line of scrimmage, I think he kind of reinvented the position. So you talk about awareness and knowing what the other team is doing. Couple that with knowing what his team is doing. Awareness goes to Manning. The guy's been just a field general. I mean, not that Tom hasn't. Other quarterbacks in the league audible, but he took it to another level. I mean, I remember playing against this guy when I was in Houston, and he would have a different call. It it seemed like we had it figured out, and then that same call would be the exact opposite of what we thought. So the guy changed the game as far as awareness and understanding what the defense was trying to do to him, just a complete master at that. Yeah, given growing up in a quarterbacking family, you learn some of that stuff from birth practically, but the passing aspect of it, that's a physical side of it. Who's got the edge there? Passing, just Tom Brady here. I think, you know, Father Time's kind of caught up with Peyton. They're only a year apart, but it feels like Peyton's on his way out, and it feels like Tom can play forever. Yeah, Yeah. it's crazy. So I'm going to give the edge to Tom Brady here in passing. Let's talk about weapons. This is a tough one because across both of those offensive rosters, you got the kind of guys that can make plays. Absolutely. There's weapons on both sides. This is really close. I mean, this is, you know, your apples and oranges. is. Uh, but I, I really like uh, what Tom Brady has. Rob Gronkowski is the X factor here. You see Vernon Davis kind of disappeared from the Broncos' offense. It was kind of weird. They made the trade for him. But Gronkowski and Edelman and Amendola, having those guys healthy is, is out of control for, for Tom because we talk about, you know, Brady and what he can do with these guys and and how Manning is situationally aware. Brady has a mastery of what these guys are doing on defense, trying to stop these guys. He knows exactly where the one-on-one is and where to throw the football. It's fun to watch. Even if those guys were all equal, it's hard to make the argument that the the edge would go to Peyton, just given the fact that he hasn't been on the field as much. Yeah, Brady has. Exactly, and they've done more in in New England with with him. All right, when it's all said and done, though, you got to have a guy who can lead his team, maybe a two-minute drill at the end of the game to punch it in for the win. Who has the edge there? We think about it. He's in his 10th AFC Championship game. He has a chance, if he wins this game, to go into uncharted realm. A guy's going to start his seventh Super Bowl. No player has ever done that. So uh, it's Tom Brady all the way in leadership and just what he brings, his ability to get in the big games and win the big games. Just look at their overall record you know, against each other. Well, you see the edge and the tail of the tape going to Tom Brady, but will the edge go to him this weekend in the AFC Championship game? Get all your coverage here on NFL Now.